is caregiver shaming? Have you been a victim or are you a shamer? Hi there, I'm Sophia. Welcome to my channel. I help family caregivers navigate the resources, the options, and all the ups and downs that go along with aging parent care. I want the very best outcomes for you and your parents, so go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. In this episode, I'm going to talk about something you just might have experienced before, and that is caregiver shaming. So I received a comment right here on my YouTube channel from a viewer who pretty much said, how dare I call myself a family caregiver when my dad doesn't live with me 24 hours a day? And, and I was like, what? What on earth are they talking about? And it really reminded me of a situation years ago, back when I was in graduate school. Um, I had a friend, her name was Sheila, and she was going through grad school with me, getting our master's degree in social work. And um, Sheila was going to have a baby. And because of that, she quit grad school to take care of her baby. And we stayed friends. And after I graduated and I was in my very first job, I was really excited to be working in my new career. Um, and I also was getting ready to have a baby. And Sheila even helped put together my baby shower. But one day she said to me, you're not gonna go back to work after you have the baby, are you? I'm like, what kind of leading question is that? She actually said to me, if you do go back to work, I can't be your friend. I kind of blew it off. I blew it off because of course, how would anybody think that she would be serious about that? But um, after I had my daughter and I had my maternity leave and I went back to work, guess what? She never spoke to me again because Sheila thought that there was absolutely only one good, right way to be a parent. And of course, that's not right. We all were parented differently and we all parent our kids differently. We all have different situations. But she thought she was so right that she couldn't be my friend anymore. And I have never spoken to her again to this day. But just like that, so many people think that there is only one right way to, you know, provide support and care for our aging parents. And that's just not true at all. There are so many things that contribute to our caregiving situations, um, our relationships with our parents, our finances, our support systems, our abilities, our circumstances, just so many things come into it. There is no one right way. And to say that there is only one way, and that's to keep your parent home with you 24 hours a day and provide hands-on care yourself. Well, I'm gonna say it, that is a really narrow point of view. And if it works for you, that's terrific. But you have to know that that's not going to work for everyone's circumstances. I created this channel to provide support to family caregivers like you, not to create an environment that allows people to shame each other for the care that they are giving to their parents. So if you're one of those who thinks that there's absolutely only one good right way to take care of your aging parent, and that's to take care of them yourself 24 hours a day, and you put other caregivers down because of the way they provide support to their parents, then I have to say this channel is not for you. It's absolutely stressful and difficult to take care of your parent 24 hours a day. And if you can do that, that's terrific. But you know what? It's also really stressful and difficult to try to balance parent care and a career or your family or to try to manage taking care of your parent when you live really far away. And it's even really difficult to take care of and support your parent when they live in a facility. And that was actually the most stressful time for me was when my dad was in an assisted living facility. It is all hard and there is no one right way to do this. Many of us are already being shamed by our own families and being told we're not doing it right. We're shamed by our own parents because they want more and more and they, they say we're not giving them enough. We are shamed by our employers who don't have a clue what we're going through. 
you might just even be shaming yourself and telling yourself you're not doing it good enough. You're not giving enough time. You're not doing it right. Oh my gosh, the guilt that we can put on ourselves sometimes. We need to stop this right now. There is no one right way. And we need nothing more than to support each other and understand we all have different circumstances. No matter what they are, we, are, we need to be here for each other. It is all important and it is all hard. And you are so amazing. No matter what way you are able to provide support and care to your aging parent. So let's cut each other some slack. Please don't be a Sheila. And it is so great to see so many of you providing support right here in the comment section of my channel as if it was a caregiver support group. It's wonderful to see you guys doing that for each other. And I wanted to make it a little bit easier, so I'm really excited to let you know. I started um, a, fam a family caregiver support group over on Facebook called Full On Parent Care. I'd love for you to come and check it out. It's really quiet over there because it's just started. So come on over, let's chat, let's support each other. Because I don't know about you, but I could use some support myself. Thanks so much for watching today. I'll see you next time. And hopefully, I'll see you over at Full On Parent Care. I'll put a link down below, okay? Bye.